in my birth time, looking upon phenomenon where we said, reality is everything you will see, smell, touch, and hear. When I was three, the electrons discovered, the year I was born, x-rays discovered. But they didn't make the newspaper, nobody knew those were going to be anything. We get into the new world, and now that electronics, we get into the new world of discovering the radio and all the different lengths of frequencies of wavelengths of our electromagnetic waves. Of our electromagnetic waves. Of our electromagnetic waves. Of our electromagnetic waves. The chemical elements when incandescent in a hot flame give off light, which light which led through a prism is, is then broken down into spectrum bands and the spectrograph camera can photograph and the chemical emulsion of photography can see frequencies that your eye and my eye cannot see. Your eye and my eye cannot see. Your eye and my eye cannot see. The World War One, which got shorter and shorter, we learned how to use shorter wave lengths and so forth. And the, we gradually get then all these things are invisible. We go through many of the chemical elements and we suddenly come to infrared and then red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, where you and I can tune in. Where you and I can tune in. Where you and I can tune in. Then we go into ultraviolet and out and on it goes. And as of 1930, it was manifest to us that what, what is reality, because all these chemical elements were reality. The fact that we, your, our, our mind, were not tuned to see those frequencies, so it was not to be able to see what's going on in the radio waves with our eyes. Then we thought that, that really the old way of looking at things, it wasn't real if you couldn't see it. 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 We suddenly discovered in 1930 that 99.9% .9 of reality is no longer directly contactable, apprehendable by the human senses. This is a very, very big jump. Now, fine, society hasn't thought about that, and society carries on exactly as if that were not true. And the newspapers still deal in the to see it, smell it, touch it, and, and hear it. So I, I find our reality, we're, we're carrying on in a, in a shrunken little bit of reality in relation to a very extraordinary new aspect of the universe which is available to us, but it's invisible, therefore, you only tend to feel that you can deal with it by through some kind of scientific training and some kind of capability to deal with instruments, then maybe you can penetrate into that, that, that invisible world. 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 Place you might be around the world. If you had two million wideband radio sets with you, you could tune each one on a different program for any place around the world today. There are more than two million programs that are in the air, but not tuned in. They're absolutely invisible and silent to you and I. But if you tune in on them, you could tune all of those two million sets in each in a different program. They're all there. There are programs that are right in this room. Then two million programs right here. <laughs>
too many programs going through your head right now. So if you had the right equipment in your head, you could pick up any one of them if you wanted to tune in on them. Violet brings it, gives me a very different kind of feeling about life. Too many programs going through your head right now. It wasn't real if you couldn't see it. Too many programs going through your head right now. It wasn't real if you couldn't see it. Too many programs going through your head right now. It wasn't real if you couldn't see it. Too many programs going through your head right now. It wasn't real if you couldn't see it. Too many programs going through your head right now.